I had three squared is equal to three to the X, the only thing that makes sense for X is the X equal to only works because my bases are exactly the same. So in this example, what a lot of students will do is they say, oh, well, I recognize a 64, you know, as an eight squared. And then they say, well, I can rewrite this as a eight, you know, to the negative first power. It's very important to recognize that we got to get these to be the same base. Typically, what we want to do is find the largest number that they have in common. Eight can be written as just a negative one. So I can keep this eight squared to the X plus one is equal to now eight to the negative first raised to a two X minus one. This X plus one is a power. So we need to group this all together. This two X minus one is a power. So it needs to be grouped together. You need to make sure you multiply by both terms inside of those parentheses. When you distribute correctly, you get a two X plus two is equal to a negative two X plus one. Now from this example, we can just go ahead and get our variable to the same side and go ahead and solve. And there you go. In this example, X is going to equal a negative one fourth.